The University of Texas system is about to undergo some major changes, and tonight we may have a better idea of who will succeed Francisco Cigaroa as UT Chancellor. KXAN's Amanda Brandeis has more on the big name expected to be the finalist for that position. In just an hour, the Board of Regents are meeting via telephone for a special meeting. Afterwards, we're expecting an announcement to learn their pick for UT's next chancellor. Tonight's decision will have an impact statewide. The chancellor oversees the system's nine academic and six health campuses across Texas. There are reportedly two top candidates for the position. One is Admiral William McRaven, a UT grad who coordinated the mission to kill Osama bin Laden. He also spoke at UT's commencement in May, a speech that went viral on the internet with more than two million views. Know that life is not fair and that you will fail often. But if you take some risks, Step up when the times are the toughest. Face down the bullies. Lift up the downtrodden and never, ever give up. If you do these things, the next generation and the generations that follow will live in a world far better than the one we have today. And what started here will indeed have changed the world for the better. Another person believed to be a finalist is the president and CEO of the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas, Richard Fisher. However, our media partners at the Texas Tribune are reporting that Admiral Mick Raven is expected to be named the sole finalist. Of course, we'll bring you that decision as soon as it is announced. Reporting in downtown Austin, Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. Admiral McRaven is currently the commander of the U.S. Special Operations Command that's based out of Florida, and he announced last month he will retire at the end of August. This is not the only position the Board of Regents is trying to fill. They'll begin the search for a new president of UT Austin next month. President Bill Powers will step down in June of next year after being with the university since 2006 in the president's role. His move comes after years of clashes with Regents and several attempts to fire him.